was following fresh moose tracks this morning and I was really pleased to see that this animal was stomping and browsing. You could tell because in the snow, the it wasn't just a four foot stride of a moose. It was, it was short strides. It was stopping and turning and browsing on the maple branches. And uh, I knew this was an animal I could follow and, and possibly find. And uh, so I kept up for a while. And when I finally reached the crest of a hill, there he was. It was a bull moose, beautiful bull moose with a full set of antlers, which is really rare to find this time of the year. The moose has just gone up over the hill here and uh, I'm gonna just chase him on foot. I took off my my uh, snowshoes and removed my camera bag just so I can be a little more mobile. I don't like to use my snowshoes when it's when the when I have to move around my tripod I end up tripping over the thing. So the moose is going straight away, but I want, there's a bit of sunshine right now, so I think I'm going to go down and around, see if I can keep the sun at my back. You know, that's the plan anyways. So. I think we're I think we're good for now I've got a couple of guests coming in tomorrow so I don't want to push the moose too far and he seems to be really happy in this area he's uh, he's browsing he's eating he could see you see all this this is old this is old uh, uh, maple that he has fed on all of this it could be a could be whitetail too I guess but uh, 
it's pretty high. I would have to say it's probably a moose that ate this. So I think we're going to just let him relax and we're going to, uh, to uh, head back to the uh, vehicle and, uh, and tomorrow we're going to give it another try and uh, with, with my guests. Okay, we found the bull. It was a it was a tough morning. Probably put six kilometers on the snowshoes, followed the tracks up and down the hills and, and in that hardwood section up there and uh, and it was uh, it was with no luck. We did find out where he was bedded down and we actually found two other beds. There's actually a cow and a calf uh, that's around here too. So we found some fresh beds, but we could not find our bull. And uh, so uh, we spent the rest of the day capturing images of gray jays and some pine marten. And, uh, and now uh, we're back on the moose's track again. And we actually found, we actually found him and uh, he's down in the swamp. And uh, it's not gonna be an easy walk, I'll tell you that. But uh, if, if my guests don't mind walking in uh, what we did this morning, then they won't mind this. So uh, we're gonna see if you'll tolerate us. We're gonna walk in there. I'm, I'm really feeling good about this because we have a lot of, a lot of balsam here. You see this, these long needles and they're softer needle. This is, they really like, this is one of their favorite foods in the winter time, the balsam. And there's also uh, hemlock here as well. This is amazing to see this mature bull rubbing this tree. I just don't understand why he's doing it so late in the season. It's two and a half months past the rut. They do that. It's typical they do that during the rut. It's to strengthen their neck for fighting. And it's a signpost. It, it tells other moose that there is a uh, active bull in the area. And uh, this, this bull is obviously uh, uh, very active right now. I, he's, like, he's, he's acting like we're not even here, which is great. Um, he's, uh, now, I know that there's a cow and a calf in the area, and maybe he thinks that we're the cow and calf, um, or maybe he's just doing this just to, you know, just to let us know or that, you know, I am an active bull and this is my area, you know, who knows, but uh, it's, a, it's something that's just amazing to watch. Well, I uh, got a few good images of the bull. I think that it was really the experience, I think, for this afternoon. It was, it was amazing to see that bull rubbing the tree. Uh, my guests have gone home. They've been they were very happy with what they experienced today and what they got. So uh, you can't beat the conditions. I mean, it's just, it's cold, but it's only like minus 10. It's just, it's just cold enough to feel like winter. It was just a great day.